Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tadwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to print numbers in descending order. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in the angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now I am going to write wide main function curly open brace and here I'm going to declare a variable n of type integer and then I'm going to write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now I'm going to ask the user to enter the number using printf statement. Here in a double quotation mark I'm going to write enter the number. End the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf statement. Here in a double quotation mark, I'm going to write percentage d format specifier, put comma, and then we are going to take this variable n. Now I'm going to use the while loop. While n is greater than zero, and curly open brace indicates it is the beginning of body of this while loop. Now I am going to write printf statement and here in a double quotation mark I am going to write percentage d format specifier and the double quotation mark and before this I am going to put comma because each and every number should be separated by the comma and after that after the double quotation mark I will put one more comma and here and put semicolon. Now I am going to print minus minus n and then curly closing brace indicates this is the termination point of a while loop. Now I am going to write one more printf statement and here in a double quotation mark I am going to use one of the escape sequences called backward slash b that is backspace. So it is going to remove this comma at the end of the iteration and then it is going to put here full stop. So I am going to write here full stop end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here I will write get ch function and then curly closing brace. Now let us take an example. Here I am going to write output. So once we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. So for example, I am going to enter 5. So n is holding what? 5. So while n is greater than 0, that is 5 is greater than 0, yes condition is true. Once the condition is true, it is going to start printing the value of n. Here percentage d is associated with n. So it is going to print 5. So minus minus n means what? It is going to decrement the value of n by 1. So it will become 4. So again control transfers to while. 4 is less uh, greater than 0. Yes condition is true. Then it is going to print 4. So 4 is minus minus decremented by 1. Again control transfers to while. 3 is greater than 0. Yes it is true. Once it is true it is going to print 3. Correct. So here it is going to actually put uh, comma after each number. So here it will be printed one after the other. Let me write something like this. So comma because here we have written comma 4 comma 3 then comma again control transfers like it decrements the value of 3 by 1. So it will become 2. 2 is greater than 0. Yes condition is true. Once again it is going to print 2. Next again it is going to put comma. Next minus minus 2 minus 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 2 gives me what it is it will become 1 again control transfers to while so 1 is greater than 0 yes condition is true then it is going to print 1 now minus minus 1 is what 0 again control transfers to while 0 is greater than 0 no condition fails once the condition fail control comes out of the looping structure and here earlier it was uh, printing comma and just because of this printf backward slash b that is one of the escape sequences that uh, remove the last letter after the iteration. So what it is going to remove? It is going to remove this comma and it is going to put full stop over here. So it, is, it will become full stop. Now let us run this program. For that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ integrated development environment. Now let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. And now I'm going to press enter. Now let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the number. For example, I'm going to enter 5 and then press enter. Here you can see it is printing 
five, four, three, two, one. And at the end of one, you can see it is printing full stop. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.